Welcome to the Epson SureColor S-Series training video. This video will cover routine maintenance. Before performing maintenance on your S-Series printer, you will first need to unpack all of the contents of the Epson S-Series maintenance kit box. Inside the maintenance kit, you will find all of the materials necessary to perform maintenance on your S-Series printer. The reference guide will list all of the items included in your maintenance kit. The first thing included in your maintenance kit are two replacement wiper cleaners. Two replacement flushing pads. Also included with your maintenance kit is a replacement set of wipers. Next is a set of two protective gloves to be worn during maintenance. And finally, a set of cleaning sticks that are to be used in a variety of ways when performing maintenance on your S-Series printer. The ink cleaner can be purchased from your local distributor or reseller and includes a plastic cup that will be used anytime you perform maintenance. To use the ink solution, simply remove the outer cap, followed by the inner cap, and pour into the cup. The amount of ink cleaner needed is dependent upon the maintenance you are going to perform. Once the ink cleaner is in the cup, simply soak one of the cleaning sticks in the solution and you are ready to perform maintenance. When you are ready to perform maintenance, use the maintenance shortcut and scroll down to the head maintenance option. Once selected, this will move the print head to the maintenance area on the left hand side of the printer. Once the printer is in the maintenance carriage area, you may lift the cover to gain access to the print head. When cleaning the print head, it is recommended you use either the silver tray provided with your printer or a light to illuminate the work that you are about to do. With one of the cleaning sticks soaked in the ink solution, gently rub in between the printheads on the silver area of the printhead to remove the excess ink buildup. Once you have done that, wipe around the outsides of the printhead to remove any additional ink. It is important that while you do the cleaning, you do your best to not touch any of the ink channels. After you've cleaned the printhead, be sure to also clean the head guard located on the side of the printhead and the back and sides of the printhead as well. Once the printhead has been thoroughly cleaned, grab a dry cleaning stick and use it to remove the excess ink solution that has been left on the printhead. After gently removing all of the excess ink solution, your printhead should look as clean as the one pictured here. Once you have finished cleaning the print heads, you may close the cover and move to the opposite side of the printer to begin cleaning the caps, rails, and wipers. To access this area, simply lift the cover located above the ink cartridges. Once you have gained access to the head housing area, there are multiple items that will need to be cleaned, starting with the caps. To clean the caps, you will first need a cleaning stick soaked in ink solution. From there, simply insert the cleaning stick in between the caps and in the gaps on the side to get rid of any built up ink. Depending on what S-Series printer you have, you may need to do this twice for the dual print head S50 and S70. Be sure to use extra ink cleaner and cleaning sticks until all excess ink buildup is removed from the caps. Once that is complete, take your lint-free towel and gently rub and dry any place where you use the cleaning stick to remove excess ink and cleaning solution. After you have finished cleaning the caps, you will then need to clean the wipers. To remove the wipers, gently lift and pull away from the printer. While the wipers are removed from their holders, use a cleaning stick soaked in ink solution 
to clear the area of any excess ink buildup. To clean the wiper, take your cleaning stick soaked in ink solution and rub around the outsides and underneath of the wiper, removing any ink buildup. Once you have thoroughly cleaned the wiper, you will need a lint-free towel to dry and remove any excess ink from the wiper. Once you have cleaned both the wipers and the wiper holders, you may place the wipers back into the printer by firmly pressing into the holder. Once the wipers are back in place, hit OK on the control panel to gain access to the wiper rails. To clean the wiper rails, use a cleaning stick soaked in ink solution and rub the top and sides of each wiper rail. Once you have cleaned the rails, use your lint-free towel to gently dry and clean the top and outside of the rails. Once all cleaning has been completed, you may press OK on the control panel to slide the printhead back into the printhead housing area. It is recommended that you run a light cleaning followed by a nozzle check to identify any clogged nozzles that may have been affected during your cleaning process. Your S-series printer will require some long-term maintenance every three to six months. This will include changing the flushing pad, wipers, and wiper cleaners. To remove and replace the flushing pad, simply grab the end and gently lift away from the printer. To replace with one of the flushing pads included in your maintenance kit, simply insert and press down to lock into place. You will need to remove and replace the wiper cleaners by pushing in the ends and gently lifting away from the printer. To replace with the wiper cleaners included in your maintenance kit, simply press down and snap into place. To remove the wipers, simply grab and gently lift away from the printer. When you have removed the wiper, it is recommended that you clean the wiper holder before replacing with the replacement wiper included in your maintenance kit. To insert, simply push down firmly into the holder. This is what your printer should look like after performing long-term maintenance. To view similar videos or learn more about our S-Series printers, visit proimaging.epson.com.